Hey, I'm Rod Ryan. Welcome to Storm Mountain. Hey, Rod Ryan from Storm Mountain Training Center. One of the things that we get asked a lot about is our high-risk personnel course. The, one of the big emphasis things that we talk about in that course is how to deal with a vehicular counter ambush situation. And the answer is this. If you're ambushed in your car, use it as a deadly force ram, run over shit. Don't worry about uh, what I should do. Drive off the X. If it's drivable, keep on driving. If you got bad guys in front of you with guns, run over them. No big deal. You've seen Walking Dead, zombies, yeah, that's the same thing. All right, now, the second side is, is a dead vehicle situation. All right, we've driven into a situation where you get ambushed and you've flattened your tires, you can't drive any further, the engine block's blown, whatever, you just can't go any further. How do we get out of that vehicle effectively and then utilize it for cover, okay? Getting out of it is a whole nother subject, so I'm not gonna do that right now, but let's talk about what are the key points of cover on a vehicle. And a lot of people think, oh, those doors, they're great. And you've seen law enforcement guys open the door up and they hold their hand out, hold the leg out, and they, they hide behind that door while utilizing the A, cover con a pillar concept. Not a good point. As you'll see on this vehicle here, several thousand rounds have been fired into this vehicle over a couple years. Everything from 22s, 223s, 308s, 300 wind mags, 50s, double odd buck, buck shot, bird shot, everything we can shoot at it, get shot at this vehicle. It's got targets behind it. Now, main thing I want to take a look at here is this engine block area. We walk around to the back side, it's tore up here, but take a look at what we have on the engine block on where you want to be hiding or where you want to be taking cover. You don't have a single pass through. That tire actually had air into it up to last year when I moved it with the tractor and knocked it off its rim. All right, now look further down on this vehicle to the left and you'll see pass throughs from both doors, A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, gas tank, and trunk area. Now, one of the dangerous concepts of being involved in a vehicle ambush situation is of course taking cover if ineffectively and not using the engine block. And if there's three or four of you in the vehicle, yeah, you're gonna have to fight for that concept. But as this vehicle gets shot up, you might not get impacted by a bullet, but you may get impacted by all the crap that flies over, around, and through this vehicle. As you can see, anything but from a piece of rubber to interior plastic, mirrors, all types of stuff actually come through this vehicle as it's hit by a projectile and it goes as fast as a projectile when it's hit. Now, that dissipates very quickly and I don't think it's going to kill you, but it could inca incapacitate you to the point where you can't shoot effectively. I tell people all the time, if you're driving, you should be wearing shooting glasses. In the daytime, use uh, grays or clears. At nighttime, use clears or ambers. Uh, you want to protect your eyes. I've been in two vehicle ambushes uh, locally by criminals, not bad guys in Baghdad or anything like that. And the glasses saved my eyes and I was able to deal with the problem effectively, where I might have been blinded by the glass coming in the vehicle otherwise. so. Big thing is, engine block is your clear choice first. Secondary would be your rear axles, if it has a real axle, and steel wheels. If it's got aluminum wheels and, an, and a small I-beam axle, not a great place to be, but it's better than anywhere else, which is in front of the doors or the trunk area. All right, now, we always get asked this too. Will the vehicle blow up? Every vehicle on this range still has gas in it. We've been trying to blow vehicles up here for 20 years and it doesn't happen. I'm not saying it can't happen, we just can't make it happen. If it's leaking gas and you get a skip shot underneath and it ignites, yeah, there's a good chance you're gonna have a fire. That doesn't mean it's gonna blow up. We have caught cars on fire before, we've just not got them to explode. Don't freak out, look for a new point of cover. Once you get out of this vehicle, use cover, return fire effectively if you can. You need to start looking to where you're gonna go next in your surroundings on what's the next best piece of cover to get you away from point A to point B. Unless you're a law enforcement guy or a military guy and you have to go forward and take these guys into custody or kill them. Other than that, stay safe. If you're looking for additional training, come to Storm Mountain. We'd be happy to take care of you or check us out at stormmountain.com. Thanks very much.